Okay, today we're going to be discussing how to read the oil level on the oil dipstick in your vehicle. This is a super quick video. This is for basically you novices, anyone out there who really just doesn't understand what they're looking at when they're reading the oil dipstick. This is information everybody should know. Every man, woman, and child who's of driving age and even earlier needs to know this. It's important to keep your vehicle running correctly without catastrophic damage. It also can help keep you from getting swindled. So let's just start right here. This is what a typical oil dipstick looks like. Now, there are a bunch of different varieties. We're gonna, I'm going to show you two in real time today. But in general, there's a minimum mark or level. Sometimes it's a dot. Sometimes it's um, a mark. And there's a maximum. In general, the difference between those two marks is usually one quart. Anytime the oil is below the bottom mark, you need to add oil until it gets into the safe level between the minimum and maximum and usually if it's below the minimum you simply add a quart of oil now overfilling is just as dangerous as underfilling and some people argue that you know you'd rather have too much oil than not enough in their vehicle even though it is dangerous here's the deal if you don't have enough oil in your car it can cause catastrophic engine failure if you have too much oil in your engine it can cause catastrophic engine failure um, so you tell me which one of those ways, which one of those is better. Neither one of them is good. So with that being said, let's take a look at some real dipsticks in action so you'll understand better instead of just looking at this picture. Okay, so here is a dipstick out of one of my vehicles. And you can see this one actually has an ad mark and it has like some cross hatches on there showing you the safe level. To the left, which is the end that you insert, it says add, meaning that it's low in oil. And then above that, you can you can see a little note right there to check while the vehicle is level. We're going to we're going to discuss that as well. Here is a second dipstick. You're going to you'll encounter both of these and there are even other varieties, too. This one just has two either dimples or holes or dots on them. And they mean the same thing as the crosshatch. Anything to the left is not enough oil and anything to the right of the top dot is too much oil in your vehicle. So now that you understand what they look like, let's put them in an engine and see what it looks like in real time when you pull them out. So on this vehicle, you'll see right here, this is the um, dipstick for checking the transmission oil. It actually says trans on it. This one has a picture of an oil can. Um, you may, some cars, you should always be able to find them if you're unsure. Um, take a look in your owner's manual or look it up online. So first thing you do is you pull the dipstick out of the vehicle and wipe it clean with a lint-free cloth. I'm using a shop towel. People love to use paper towels and napkins, even though you shouldn't because they do contain lint. It's probably not gonna hurt anything, but it's not recommended. So, after you've removed all, clean the dipstick off, insert it all the way in as far as it'll go. That's very important, and we're gonna discuss why. Now you're gonna pull it out, and this is where you read it. And in this case, you'll see there's actually so much oil on this dipstick that it's above the safe level. It's over the cross hatches into the writing that says check, um, make sure the vehicle is level. This engine does in fact have too much oil in it, which I will be correcting here shortly. But I'm using this to illustrate a valid point, a way that you can get swindled. So now that we've seen that there's too much oil in this vehicle, watch this. I've done nothing. I've simply cleaned it off, inserted it back into the car, and now take a look. Now the oil is safe. It's on a safe level. Now how in the world can the oil have magically went from having too much to being unsafe? This is a common way that some shady mechanics have swindled people for years. I'm going to come to the side so you can understand what's happening, but this is called thumbing. And this is a way for them to sell you a quart of oil when you don't need it or even um, use that to justify damage. So this is the dipstick all the way in. Insert it as far as it would go. And now this is what shady mechanics would do called thumbing, even though you don't have to use your thumb. So watch this. It happens so quickly, it's basically sleight of hand. So I just inserted the dipstick, pulled it back out, and now... The oil level reads safe. It reads lower than normal because I'm putting my finger in the way. And watch this one slowly. I'm putting my finger in the way so that the um, top does not go all the way into the dipstick. So it gives a gap in there. So this is why you need to be able to check the oil on your own. So that you can make sure that no one's lying to you when they tell you that you need oil or that your car is low in oil. Now, here's another vehicle. 
In this case, you'll see the dipstick is in a completely different location. So I'm gonna reach down here. We're gonna do the same procedure. I'm gonna clean it off with a lint-free cloth. And then you're gonna reinsert it, making sure that it goes all the way in, that your fingers aren't in the way. Then remove it and read the level on the side. So you'll see this one is safe. It is between the bottom dot and the top dot. So we are safe level. All right, with that being said, the last thing I wanna talk about are the conditions that have to be met before you can check the oil in your vehicle. Realistically, there's three things that, that have to be going on. One, the engine cannot be running. You cannot get an accurate measurement of the oil level in your car when the engine is running. This is because when the engine's running, some of the oil that's in the oil pan, which is what this dipstick measures, is actually circulating in the engine. So you won't get an accurate measurement because the oil dipstick is designed to check the oil level in the oil pan. So if the engine's running, there's gonna be oil circulating through it and you're not gonna get an accurate level. So rule one, the engine must be turned off. Rule two, if the engine has been running, you need to wait at least five minutes, ideally maybe 10 minutes or longer before you check the oil, just to give it time to drain back out of the engine and into the oil pan. And third, equally as important, it must be level. The vehicle has to be on level ground before you check this. Otherwise, you're not gonna get an accurate level. So between those three things, Anyone can learn to check the oil in their car, and this is what you can use to make sure you have a safe level. Also, if you're taking it to a mechanic, um, it's probably just as prevalent today as it, as it was 30 years ago, but it used to be really common, especially with, um, they would try to take advantage of female drivers. So that's why it's important for everyone to know how to check their oil. It's important in the maintenance of your vehicle to keep it running safely. And it's also important so that when you do take it to someone maybe that you don't trust, you easy way to tell if they're trying to take advantage of you um, by thumbing the dipstick. So remember, this is one of the most important things you can do. Generally, the recommendation is that you check the oil level in your car every time you fill up with gas. So while you're at the gas station, fueling with fuel, pull the dipstick out, take a look, and make sure it's safe. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to post below or let me know of what kind of videos you'd like to see going forward. Thanks. See you next time.